Hello Cancer, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Today I'm giving messages for Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. We're going to see what's going on in your energy. So Cancers, we want to look into your financial situation. Or just what's going on most in your energy. What's going on in Cancerian's energy? Cancerian. Cancerian. <laughs> Thank you. Some cards wanting to come out here. I'll take three cards. It's a strength card. The nine of cups. And the six of pentacles. Now, Cancer, what I like to do is to ask you guys to really focus, really intend on this deck of cards here. Really give me, um, let me see what's going on in your energy so that we can get the most accurate messages. <sighs> accurate messages for Cancerians. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ooh. I feel like you're speaking out. You're using your emotions to get through a situation or it could be the absolute opposite where you're not using your, your, your voice. You're not expressing yourself well. Maybe you're not flowing well. Your emotions, you're not being authentic to how you really feel. I feel like there's a part of you that really wants to connect to your water, to your divinity your water side as if you long to go to the beach <laughs> maybe you want to be outside i feel like you you you're longing for that outer space to connect with the ocean i feel um to maybe be more sure in how you're going to express yourself maybe you're not expressing yourself at all right now cancer maybe you're not being fully expressive maybe you're being secretive there's love here, of course. There's love um, present in you. I feel like there's a lot of love present in you. In how you're loving yourself, wanting the best for yourself, and just wanting to be in an environment that is really good for you overall. So that means being kind to those around you as well. So I think you're putting out your best in this kind of beautiful love energy for yourself here so we have the strength card loyalty transmutation of energies being able to stand up for yourself being virtuous integrity integrous having your integrity intact feeling good about yourself confidence courage taking the necessary actions a magician energy also we have the infinity sign here feeling like you know how to align with the truth of who you are align with energies to be able to 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 really alchemize a situation to turn something that would normally seem bad into something good so that's your strength your power knowing how to tap into emotions that's your strength the lover's card wow i feel like i almost don't know what to say about this being here with the strength maybe you are pulling someone to you divinely just by being who you are as if you could be a farmer a lone female farmer just being strong living out in the forest or something and there's something that there's a person that's feeling your energy a divine connection that wants to be with someone like you someone as strong and powerful as you as as graceful too 
so you might be receiving um, signs of there being a twin flame connection in your life someone that vibrates on your energetic field fool taking the leap of faith hmm. I want to take this time to say thank you so much Cancerans for being here really appreciate your energy and your presence here in this reading okay so the fool means taking a leap of faith going off wondering you know putting yourself out there in the world traveling more and taking with you your virtues your gifts your standards your beliefs just being free and energetic maybe carefree sometimes this could be a little bit too carefree energy but going off I feel like you're feeling confident guided also having the confidence and strength and the courage to go forward maybe you can Siren, are the one moving toward this new life where you're strong where you can meet your soulmate where everything will come into alignment with you so we have the nine of cups here this card reminds me that there's a lot to be thankful for you have rewards or awards you know that you are proud of maybe your gifts your talents things about you that you hold true and dear to yourself cancerian hierophant okay <laughs> so, all right let's get ready so i'm feeling maybe you do want to get married to this this twin flame soulmate person the hierophant represents marriage union justice um being blessed being in a divine connection with someone being seeing having a relationship that is being recognized as a good relationship even by others strength um partners that can actually come together well and be an example for others to follow in love that's the twin flame energy so you may be really connected to someone like that in this time because you're tapping into your higher sense of self maybe as cancerians you're normally um you normally hold on to feelings or situations that's what you got your claws for <laughs> to hold on and that's beautiful i feel like you're changing you're transmuting this energy of you know being that normal cancerian who holds on i want you want to go out in the world now have fun feel glorious and that might be how you meet upon your soulmate energy your soulmate person just by being in your power being strong confident i feel like confidence has a lot to do with this reading being strong knowing who you are not easily phased cancerian diving deep into into yourself so you come out powerfully no one can tell you who you are so this is the card of being a bit indecisive or having some options to choose from maybe you're a bit depressed about this option maybe you got an offer but you're not sure if you're ready ready to settle you could just be wanting to go out in the world and explore so maybe there's an, a love offer coming into you someone wants to marry you wants to give you their all saying they're ready to commit themselves to you they have they will have your emotional so give you emotional support financial support as if they're saying i'm coming with what all i have but i don't know if you're ready for this i don't know if you fully believe this and so you're really looking at what they're saying and you're hmm which 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 life would be better for me at this point going off so you may be choosing between an old life and trying something new i feel like trying something new it leads to you finding your twin flame connection as if you guys just what is that word serendipity it's that kind of a meetup and this person becomes your mate i feel like if you remain though you might get married to this person that you are already with and so they have a lot to offer you but maybe you're still confused about something that's going on as if there's still something fishy you're like hmm looking back at thoughts and feelings exploring these I'm deciding whether or not you're ready to see this marriage situation as possible for you. 
So you're, I think you're being more discerning about the decisions that you're making, calculative. So that's what's going on. We have the six of pentacles talking about your money equal give and take. The more you have, the more you have to share. So I feel like you're out here balancing out energies, giving, because you feel blessed. You're welcoming a feeling of being blessed and full, joyous, not holding on. Normally, Cancerians like to save up money, so they feel secure. But I feel like you're giving more because you have that security. Maybe it comes from your confidence as well. I feel like maybe if you travel, it will kind of relieve you of certain burdens that you normally carry, responsibilities, worries. And so you feel lighter. You actually feel like you have more to give because you feel lighter. The two of wands. So I see that you are choosing. I feel like you're choosing to align with what is true to you your intuition it's as if you go off to become wealthier by tapping into yourself your power and so you have a lot to share now you understand as if you went on this journey of self-discovery you know you went to, on this journey of self-discovery. You may have left behind a twin flame relationship that was offering you marriage, possibly, commitment, promises. I see promises here. Someone's promising you maybe marriage, promising you to fulfill your wishes, like they have what it takes to be with you. But you may be going off after you have really reviewed your options i mean when it comes to your life what you want for yourself and to be free single disengaged to be to feel free to be like a, phil a philanthropist i don't know someone or a travel writer or someone something someone that really travels singly on their own mission of self-discovery to come to the truth of who they are so they feel wealthier so i feel like you're you if you're not already on this journey to really align with yourself not really taking a relationship along with your boyfriend a girlfriend your family you're just really doing this on your own it, um really um carving into yourself your true identity so i feel like you're going to find yourself your true identity and there's celebration you may come to get married, some of you. Four of Wands. You may come to get married. Someone may be offering you their world. Someone wants to marry you. It could be a twin flame. There are earth signs in this reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel strongly that if you're getting married, it would be to an earth sign with water in their, in their chart as well. Someone that has balance. Someone that wants to tune into their emotions to give the best to you. Someone that has, like they recognize that you two are in this twin flame union. They too see that this is a special bond that you guys share. And so they went into themselves even to figure out how to offer this love to you. But you might have turned your back on this relationship at a point. Maybe they're coming around to give equally, to show you your values or to really be true to your values. And you guys are now enhancing or heightening one another's sense of value and worth in this relationship. One is emotional, one is more grounded. So you guys are able to find that balance, really freely express yourself truthfully.
Okay, so this twin flame might have brought you pain. This twin flame soulmate connection. Wow. It might have brought you pain, you know? Might have hurt you somewhat. Torment, or you may have lost someone that um, caused you sleepless night, lost something, some feeling of stability. Maybe not even being able to uh, express yourself. This could be depression where you feel bad, but you're not really able to identify what's really going on that's wrong and why your life is not moving forward. All of that, you know, that kind of dark energy that keeps you back or keeps you stuck in life, keeps you going over cycles that are not good for you. I feel like that's what you're leaving behind here. I feel like you're really deciding to take have faith and leave this behind some like some light came through and told you that you don't have to be just this just this person that dwells on this sadness there's so much more for you ahead in life so i feel like no you're looking forward instead of back stuck on past energies you're looking forward going forward with the, to be who you really want to be to come out of this depressed energy and really stand in the truth of who you are you are the empress cancerian it's like you're taking a leap of faith to leap to just drop the burden take what you have with you leave behind all these heavy burdens some swords energy these swords energy also feel like stuck in the throat area like you're not speaking you're not expressing yourself you could be crying could have been crying a lot but you decide you don't want to be bound by that anymore maybe you have gotten hint of your soul your true soulmate maybe this past relationship really taught you this heartbreak and maybe an energy of you not being worthy enough for true love has really taught you how to let go how to not be so oh, i can't find my words but holding on hold, how to not get so attached in love really you know love more freely and that's i feel like that's when your twin flame soulmate comes in on a higher vibration people that love themselves enough to not attach to one another but to love freely so i feel like you're venturing on this new path you feel strong enough to do so because you're connecting with so with who you are so for the past few days or weeks your reading have been you really tuning into your water intuition getting to know who you are so i feel like you're really coming through present in your reading now getting to know who you are and so you have found your strength so maybe you have aligned with your twin flame soulmate this is cancerian here this is who you are in strength right so we might say strong but we don't mean you talk the loudest or roar the loudest you could just be the most intuitive in the room the most the kindest the most passion passionate the most creative one that knows how to really love themselves people look at you and wonder how you're so confident sometimes even inside you don't feel confident but it's just that trust that you have for who you are that keeps you glowing unbothered unbothered i feel like beautiful confident grounded in yourself cancerian in the truth of who you are your true divine water intuition describe the hair of the hair of font <laughs> the hair of font the devil came out to clarify the hair of the hair of font my gosh the devil the devil came out one more shuffle anything else okay the devil so maybe you did have negative attachments because when the devil comes out it is speaking of toxicity it's pointing out certain toxic behaviors that we have so I feel like you have let go from holding on, from being attached in security, in, in relationships. So the Hierophant is saying marriage commitment. Maybe you are the one that wanted this a lot. Or maybe it's saying that the person that wants to 
present you with this love just be careful of them attaching themselves to you it could be also saying that choose well choose well let go of toxic relationships toxic energies toxic unions i feel like it is also saying whatever kept you bound is is dismissed i'm getting that energy as if negative attachments that you had whatever union you were in that seemed negative or toxic cancerian the devil is saying it's dismissed it's it's no more we have the four of cups so you're being discerning careful about your choices in love you're contemplating I feel like you're looking at what you have received in the past as love offers of truth of what appeared to you as being true is now being revealed as not true and so you're more you're a, a little bit suspicious about offers that come into you and that's why you're, you're you're not really choosing you don't know how to choose right now what's good what you because it's like there's a mess up in your energy and i think that's because you were attached as if you want something to be good you're looking for it to be good even though the signs are clearly saying this is not working out so that is i think there is still a little bit of attachment issue going on that you need to let go of it is what is keeping you because when you're attached to something you try to control it to see if it can work you know it could be a job or a relationship but let, i feel like if you let go of this attachment it will cut it will help to clear up the indecisions that you're facing these burdensome indecisions it's like their options will even get smaller so they are more vivid they stand out more so it's easier for you to choose once you let go of attachments identity wanting to fix or control relationships or situations because sometimes we end up in twin flame connections and we think that's the end all be all of relationships in our lives but maybe there was a lesson here for you to have learned and to make decisions better come in come into your strength you might be celebrating moving on the glory of finally breaking free feeling so grateful really to stand on your own what's cancer celebrating here okay one more all right no nothing oh the ace of pentacles at the bottom the bottom of the deck here so you may be receiving money <laughs> look at this this is how they're lined out I feel like you're working on your pentacles. There's what is to celebrate? Your money is coming through here for you, Cancerian, my love. You're receiving a a gift of wealth, some stability, maybe an inheritance coming through for you. There's stability coming in, financial stability. Maybe that is what will help you to clear up the indecision. And you have received it. Some, yes, yeah, some about finance. This is the Knight of Pentacles coming in. About finances coming into you. It feels like an order. Maybe you're getting an order for work online. A big order, really. It's as if the king sent an order through for you to do. As if you're. Cancer, so don't miss this opportunity. Don't let this opportunity coming into you slip out of your hands. If it does, grab at it again. I feel like you're getting some big offer and order coming in that will improve your finances greatly. We're going to look more into that in the next reading. Yes, man, because this is the card of aligning with your finances. I feel like it is a job that you do so naturally. Someone recognizes it in you. And is sending in through some orders for your products so be ready to start it's as if this is the king's night and the king wants some cookies and you're the best baker in town and 
he sent his night off to get to order some cookies can so still be ready to fulfill some orders i feel i will improve your money your monetary stability stability why i'm not speaking any other messages for cancerians about finances strength or love is this um the person they're leaving in the past was it a twin flame energy is that why they're indecisive any other messages mm. all right they want to talk about love it's saying yes it was a twin flame energy this is the soulmate twin flame card and they're leaving it in the past i feel like it came with a lot of thoughts and feelings ah, oh my god it came with a lot bubbling up in it as if both of you had burdens or unhealed wounds festering it it i feel it fucked up your relationship because both both of you weren't healed or even one of you came with all this festering energy and i feel like it can be transmuted you know it can be beautiful if you guys are really wanting to stay in this relationship uh, the negative that you are realizing or recognizing standing out in one another it can turn into something beautiful i feel so i feel like it can flourish and all of these negatives i oh look at the bottom of this deck 10 like new beginnings i feel like you can transmute this energy of coming in with stagnancy and bad thoughts and feelings insecurities doubts judgments controlling negative attachments it can be transmuted if you want to really heal this relationship you know and maybe it comes if you let go it could be a person that is holding on to you but because cancerians like to claw into things like to pinch on to i know it's a beautiful thing to really hold on to something but it's even it shows more strength to let go i think that's why your strength card is up here standing out vibrantly for you strength it takes strength to let go of someone or something So, if you want to remain in this relationship, it's going to take some healing, some pampering, love, trust, new ideas, spontaneity, gratitude, planting new seeds, dreams, wishes, sharing your, your visions with one another, being attentive, caring, being um, expressive, really being truthful and being able to not be easily triggered. Because sometimes we're easily triggered in relationships and then our partners don't know how to speak to us. And that is on both sides because we, in, in relationships we tend to mirror each other. So look out for mirroring. If your partner is acting the same way you do or you're acting how your partner is acting, no one is even trying to change. There has to be someone who changes that reflection. So if someone is angry, you be the one to smile. Say, let us go play some games, cook some soup drink some tea let us do something so there's a there's space oh my god it's so beautiful that there is space to bring in this sense of stability in your relationship with this person if you want to but yes that is the answer it is a twin flame relationship that you're in it could be karmic and that's why it came with all these these alive feelings of negativity that these live festering things that's Eat, like <laughs> it feels like demons demonic energy toxicity and that's why the devil was here to say get rid of this toxicity maybe get rid of the toxicity before you proceed with marriage and that is how you can really be sure about making a decision cancerian you do have a lot to offer in love and to receive i feel like once the energy is cleared up and you guys make a decision both of you to trust to stand in your power to not give up on your dreams you chase your dreams cancer your person chasing their dreams and still finding a way to come together that can be a powerful relationship that helps to heal and to heal the world for both of you to really step into your power and be able to give more to life give to others more even okay cancerian thank you so much for being here lovely lovely doing your reading all the time so i hope that these messages resonate with you and you find them helpful if you did do let me know um you can also help to support my channel's growth by liking and subscribing 
always much appreciated thank you so much and until next time much love to you guys much love take care